Just the other day, someone asked me, I guess talking about the Rosh Hashanah menu, they said, does everything have to be sweet? I said, no, not everything. And I referred them to the Gemara that talks about the Simani Milsa. The Simanim, the various foods that we eat customarily on the night of Rosh Hashanah, because the names of the food connect with the bracha that we want from Hashem for the new year. And Chazal tell us, on the one hand, kolas chalos kashos, that new beginnings tend to be difficult. On the other hand, the way we experience those new beginnings, that's really an omen for what the future brings. And so on the night of Rosh Hashanah, we want to eat something which is sweet, we want to avoid things that are bitter. We want to try to start the year off right. The Chafetz Chaim, Zechert Tzadik Lebracha, points out, indeed, everything follows the start, the beginning, so it's not only about what we eat. But he says that for Rosh Hashanah, our disposition also matters. Because if we have a disposition which is one that is negative or angry, we worry that that negativity or that anger could last into the coming year. But if we have an attitude which is positive, which is constructive, which is hopeful, then that attitude could end up lasting, hopefully, into the coming year. So while we pay attention to the food that we eat, says the Chafetz Chaim, we can't leave out one of the most important facets of our wishes for the new year by virtue of how our face appears, of how we speak to those who are in our home, of how we approach our neighbors, the people we sit next to in shul. If we have a smile on our face on Rosh Hashanah, then in Mirza Hashem, with Hashem's help, we'll end up having a smile on our face throughout the year. And even though there are moments, of course, which are ups and which are downs, but nevertheless, if we look back to how we were in Rosh Hashanah, then we just go back to the beginning, we go back to the start. We think of our disposition on this special day, or days, then we'll be able to lift ourselves up and hopefully be able to accept the brachos, the blessings that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us over the course of this year. May we all be zoche to be written in the Sefer HaChayim for a wonderful year of good health, parnosa, bracha, and most importantly, siyata dishmaya, the help, the feeling that we have that Hashem is with us in everything that we do. Wishing everyone a ksiba v'chasima tova. Thank you for listening. Agod yontif, shana tova, and good Shabbos.